Here's the DRO head. Chose to mount it against a wall rather than trying to uh, stick it to the column. It just seemed easier. Get, gets it out of the way a little bit. The X axis, pretty straightforward. I think I used holes that were already in the casting uh, for the uh, the table stop just to mount the uh, the reed head. And the Y was a little bit trickier, but not too bad. I had to make a take a piece of aluminum and kind of cut it at an angle. If I remember right, it was about a somewhere between a five to a seven degree angle. And that allowed me to get the uh, the reed head in a vertical position. But other than that, that's not, wasn't too difficult. Just a lot of uh, scrap aluminum. And the final Z axis, that was the fun one. I, uh, it's a little bit of a Rube Goldberg device here, but I wanted to make sure that the uh, reed head didn't, you know, always stayed parallel to the glass scale. Um, so I can go into a little bit more detail on this, but this is kind of what I came up with. It keeps the, keeps everything behind the operator. So there's nothing in the way of the work and just kind of keeps it a little bit neater and cleaner. Then the people who try to mount them out front here, I felt like that would have been easier, but uh, it also you'd have a bunch of clunky stuff out in the way. And, and this way I can still use the stop if I want to, the, the factory stop that comes with the, uh, with the, with the wrong food. All right, hopefully this helps. And let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see.